Hi, it's Will from SoilMcCastle.com, and I'm here with one of the beehives, and uh, what this video is going to be about is extracting some honey from beehive. So we're just going to extract, I've taken some of this beehive apart, and we're just going to um, take some of the honey out so we can have it for ourselves. And let me see how that looks. But I just want to show you this part of it, is where you select, and I'm only going to do three frames. Uh, easy kids, easy girls, easy, easy. All right, I'm only going to do two, three frames here. What we have here is if you take a look at this, uh, they're getting kind of excited. This, if you're not familiar with bees at all, this object here is called a frame. And that sits in the box. Now, this frame is full of honey. Uh, yeah, almost full of honey. So what I will do is I will brush the bees off of this, and then I'm going to put it in the extractor so we can extract the honey, and I will show you that. See the smoker? I have the smoker there. So what I do is I take a honey, a bee brush, actually is a thing called a bee brush, and I take that frame, I don't want to pinch it, bee, oh, there's, eh, there's a fair amount of bees on this, although not too bad, and then I gently, now this is going to irritate them, so I'll try not to get stung, gently swipe the bees off of it. They get kind of, they don't like that. There we go. One more. And now we'll show you the next step. Oh, cool bear. Okay, we have the extractor here, and the goal is to put the frames in there so we can spin out the honey. And But before we can do that, you can see that those um, frames are capped. That's called capped with wax. The honey's underneath. So what we have to do is some some way we have to get the just the tops off of those. And there's a lot of different ways you can do that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a knife, and that hot knife is slide right over that. And I will show you that process. Yeah, let me give a. So well, anyway, I don't have to show you this whole process. But you so you slide the hot knife over the um, over the comb to uncap, and you do both sides, of course. And then you put it inside the extractor. As you can see, we already have one in there. And then you hire somebody to <laughs> turn the handle. And what happens is the honey will, just by the force of a centrifugal force, will spin off of this, yes. accumulate on the sides, and run down. And the way this is shaped, it's cone shaped. It's like an inverted cone. And it'll collect in the bottom there. And then you can, you know, open up the spigot and fill up uh, jugs or jars with it. Even uh, uh, typically people use a five gallon uh, food grade jugs. We've, we've, we've uncapped it, the honey's just leaking out and now we just put that frame right into the extractor. And now we have three frames in there right now and we're going to spin it out. And we should have three frames to keep it balanced so it's not unbalanced. We see we have them like this in this kind of a shape so they're nice and balanced. So now it's a matter of spinning it out. Any volunteers? Okay, so let me show you the basic process here. Now, I can't really do this. You spin it as fast as you can. And the honey flows off, hits the walls, and then settles down onto the bottom. There, see it? Ah, they call it liquid gold for a reason. There we go. Now we're, we're draining out the honey. And we're going to filter it through cheesecloth. Very nice. I'm just going to buy my honey in the store. <laughs> this, this is not good. I had 10 people out here interested in the honey. As soon as it came time to spin the wheel, they all took off. They're watching TV. <laughs>